Hi guys, this is David, and we have some exciting news today. Epic Games seems to have had some sort of epic fail, and they went ahead and they leaked four new Falcom games. Personally, I was going to stay up late today at 10 o'clock and watch Falcom's uh, little stream that they were going to do, and then create like a news video um, in regards to their new announcements, and I probably still will watch their stream, um, but I won't have to make a video about it because I'm going to make the video right now because uh, Epic Games already told me what they're going to be releasing. And um, it's kind of a doozy, I've got to say. It's pretty, pretty exciting, especially for those of you who are fans of the Legend of Heroes series. So the first game is coming out this fall. It's a Legend of Heroes Trails to Zero. I have already played this game. Um, this was translated back a couple of years ago. Uh, it, was or it was originally released in Japan for the PSP. It was then um, translated into English by a fan translation group, and I let's play it on the channel because I'm a big fan of the Legend of Heroes series. This is the first game in the Crossbell duology, following Lloyd Bannings, a police detective, as he goes and helps out Crossbell and tries to get to the bottom of all the problems. Um, in the city. It's actually one of my favorite games in the entire Legend of Heroes series. It was extraordinarily well done. It is rather adult for the series as well. It doesn't follow high school kitty drama, which is always a plus as well. Now, while Trails of Zero will be released in fall of 2022, the next three games that were leaked are going to be released is sometime in 2023. So we do have quite uh, quite a long time to wait for these games, but I am excited. The next game that was released is the sequel to Trails of Zero, Trails of Azure. And this is the second part of the Crossbell duology, again taking place in Crossbell, but concurrently along with the events that we've seen in Cold Steel. Um, it is a fantastic game. I've Again, already played it. It was released for the PSP back when, and then translated in English, just like Trails to Zero. But it is prob this duology is probably my favorite um, in the Legend of Heroes series, um, even topping the Trails in the Sky series. It is such a great um, couple of games. I think that you guys will enjoy it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. The next game announced for release is Nayuda Endless Trails, which again was originally released on the PSP and again did have an unofficial translation and again I've already played it! So um, <laughs> this one is an action RPG though um, in the vein of like Ease or Secret of Mana. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's a whole lot of fun. Um, it doesn't follow the same normal Legend of Heroes formula because this is a spin-off and it really doesn't have all that much to do with the um, with the normal series, but I will say this, it is so much fun and it is so beautiful and I really, really did enjoy it. Um, one interesting thing to note is that the protagonist of that game is uh, to uh, Toa's grandfather. So that's just kind of a little interesting um, connection between the series there. But yeah, look forward to this one in 2023 as well. And lastly announced is Legend of Heroes Trails into Reverie. This one is new to me! Shocking, I know. But this also seems to be a new direction for the uh, Trail series, which I personally am excited about. It's going to be following three different heroes. Lloyd, who we've all seen, who stars in Zero and Azure. Um, also Reen, who we've seen in Cold Steel. And then a new masked hero, C, that we don't really know all that much about. And we're going to be seeing all three stories concurrently, and you can kind of switch between uh, which hero you're controlling and all that. I just really, really, really do hope that it isn't high school titty drama, which I have really seen quite a bit of in JRPGs, and if I see it one more time, I think I'm just going to throw up, because I just can't have it anymore. JRPGs used to be adult, 
and they're really not so much anymore. They've turned into something that I'm just not really a fan of. Hopefully, this is a tipping point in the series, and um, it looks to be a little bit more on the dark side. I don't like games too dark, but a little tiny bit of darkness is, is, is okay with me. Um, but I am totally looking forward to this one. Again, coming out in 2023. Looks to be a blast. What games are you excited about coming out from Falcom? Personally, I'm excited for all four of them, and I am thrilled that I don't have to stay up so late and then make a video into late at night either. I can just do this in the morning and uh, get it out of the way. So, enjoy, guys.